So a small rant video off the bat. Uh, I apologize firstly about the title guys. It's obviously a joke to draw people in as you do on YouTube with its dodgy algorithm. Today I'll get into all and what I mean by today's video. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what I see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I woke the other day to a direct message on my Discord, which if you ain't a part of guys, you should definitely join, linked in the video description. Now before we go any further guys, today's video is sponsored by a website that sells runes that's going to scam you for your money. Please people, don't fall for those. Obviously, that was a joke. Those websites, I've been a actual victim of myself in the past with my new world days. They are a complete scam. Avoid them like the plague. Okay, so yeah, I woke up the other day to a message on my Discord, which basically said, you are the fakest YouTuber. And I basically replied with, wow, that was a compliment. Thank you. He then went on to say, I'm not going to lie. I love your content. It's good. But it's funny how every weapon you cover is the rarest weapon. Now I do just want to cover a few things um, and just get them out of the way before I push forward with more out of room content. YouTube right now is a cesspit of clickbait. I myself, I post clickbait. Not in regards to pretty ladies on my thumbnails or false promises or anything of that matter. I post videos to draw people in. And I do that to the best of my ability. I ain't as good as some people out there, but hey, I do try. YouTube right now, especially with Elden Ring, and I've tested this myself. Those clickbait titles, those 99% of people don't have this weapon titles, or this weapon's so rare you've never seen it. Those kind of titles, people, they get more clicks. So what does YouTube do? They push further so those kind of videos and those titles. I mean, I have tried with a basic, simple Elden Ring how to get so-and-so weapon titles and they do absolutely nothing in regards to views. Now, if I posted the same video, the exact same video, but if I change the title to 98.5% of people don't have this weapon or a rare weapon you may have missed, people are going to click the video. Whether the video is clickbait or not, it doesn't matter because you're going to click the video. Even if you dislike it, it doesn't matter. You're going to leave a comment calling me a scumbag. Therefore, more comments, more views, more interactions. YouTube are going to push said video. And like I said, I've tried with the legit titles. Some videos work, some clearly do not. Especially at a time now where Elden Ring is starting to slip. Now, I explained this to the guy on my Discord and he completely understood. It's just the way YouTube works now. There's 1,000 1,000 plus content creators covering out of ring. Imagine every one of them standing around a fishing pool all with their hooks in that water trying to draw in that same fish. The one with the best bait is obviously going to draw them in. Now I don't mean to mislead anybody and I try my hardest not to do that. I try and keep my titles as legit as possible. And when I say a weapon's rare, I mean it in the instance of it's not a common drop. It's not a guaranteed drop. Or for instance, I will search YouTube if not that many people have covered said weapon or are speaking about said weapon, I will consider it a rare weapon. That doesn't mean that the weapon is undiscovered. Now that is a problem many, many people seem to fall into the trap of. A rare weapon I post doesn't mean it's a weapon you've never seen or haven't got yet. It means it's just a rare weapon. You've got to understand people work full time. People school full time. People don't play this game full time. Many, many people don't even have 50 hours in this game yet. Said videos to them, these weapons are ultra rare. They're not meta weapons. They're not weapons that are guaranteed drop from said locations. These are weapons you most of the time have to farm or are weapons easily missed. Now I could be a hundred times worse. I could be advertising websites for you to go and buy runes, go and buy weapons and all that BS. I mean a lot and I mean a lot of Elden Ring content creators are advertising these websites which go against terms of service. I fell for this way back in the new world days. I actually was advertising a website who promised me they're selling microtransaction currency. I found out literally about three days before my contract ended that this website was also selling in-game currency, which goes against terms of service for New World and Amazon. So what did I do? I cancelled the contract 
two days before it ended. Me losing out on thousands of pounds, I didn't get a paycheck for it. I deleted the advert from every one of my videos and I told the advertiser to do one. Now around the time of me actually cancelling off that contract, I had another dude who owned a website similar hit me up on Twitter and I told him, the, I basically told him what had happened and he completely understood. Now would you guys believe me if I told you I was offered $20,000, $20,000 by the same guy to advertise his website on my Elden Ring videos? If you don't believe me, check out the screenshots on the screen now. I will block out his name, but this is 100% legit. He offered me $20,000 to advertise his website, which sells runes, which sells Elden Ring runes and weapons. And I've told him numerous times, I just can't do it because of my YouTube rep. I know the effects this has on said content creators. They are frowned upon and $20,000, although it's a lot of money, to me, it isn't worth it in the long run. When Elden Ring eventually dies and I move on to another game, I will be remembered or people will remember that I was that scumbag making a quick book on the side from a website that breaks terms of service. And that just isn't me. Like I said, I made a massive mistake advertising a similar website within my new world days and I massively regretted it and I even uploaded a video apologizing about it proving that I actually got the wrong end of the stick showcasing emails I'd sent to the dude saying how he'd lied to me this that and the other and me basically cancelling the contract losing out on thousands of pounds but I wasn't bothered about that but that still in itself kind of impacted my channel many people remember me now within the new world days for actually advertising this website not knowing that I fell victim myself but either way guys Either way, I don't want to play victim here whatsoever. This video is not about that. Also guys, I don't care what other content creators are doing with their channels. That is completely up to them. If they want to make a quick buck by advertising these websites, they can do what they want to do. Credit to them, I don't give a crap. But yeah, like I said, I was offered $20,000 guys to advertise these websites. But because I don't want to do that to you guys, I don't want to do that to my audience. I don't want it to have that impact on my channel where I get that bad rep from everybody. That just isn't me. Now in regards to clickbait and clickbaiting, it is something more or less everybody does. And I mean everybody does, especially in regards to Elden Ring. Yes, there are a couple of channels here and there that do make those legit guides. But right now, in regards to what I am seeing, there's barely anybody that doesn't clickbait. And in my opinion, clickbait isn't always a bad thing. Like I said, we're all trying to hook yous in. It's when you lie in the title, it's when you lie in the thumbnails, where to me, I see it as bad. And yes, I know in regards to ruin farming, this, that, and the other, people just come up with crazy numbers. I actually originally was testing how much I'd earn in an hour in regards to certain said rune farms. But then I would see somebody who post the same rune farm I'd covered two days later, triple the amount of millions of runes they could earn in an hour and get double my views with nobody in their comment section even questioning the title. So I just thought with every single rune farm video, these millions are getting more and more. I actually started it as a joke. I'm not even going to lie to you. I had a conversation with a dude on Twitter. Well, I actually said eventually, People are earning billions of runes per hour. It's as simple as that. But yeah, guys, it is a cesspool. It isn't just Elden Ring. It happens with every game. And like I said, these clickbait titles just get more clicks than non-clickbait titles. These shiny, fancy thumbnails get more clicks than the standard thumbnails. So what are you going to do if you're in my shoes and you're a content creator? And YouTube is your life. YouTube is your living. I've been doing it for 15 years. I've been on that thin line of a click beta for most of that time. Elden Ring has been absolutely incredible for me. The best it's ever been YouTube wise and pay wise. It could be a whole heap more if I'd accept that $20,000, which I ain't gonna do by the way. I am not gonna do that, but hey, it is what it is. And I apologize if I've misled you. I apologize if you've watched one of my videos of a rare weapon and you've had it for ages. That isn't what said videos are about, like I said. A weapon is rare in my opinion. If not many people have covered it, it's an easily missed weapon or it's a weapon with a low drop chance from a certain enemy you do have to farm. Now in regards to the 99.9, 85.4, those on my behalf are completely random. I normally say at the start of those kind of videos that the 99.5% number is something I found on Reddit or a WhatsApp group or Facebook or whatever. It's normally a joke on my behalf. No one truly knows said number. It's just all completely random. But what it does do is it draws people in. So you guys, I was going to say a short but sweet rant video, 
It clearly isn't, but I do again apologize if I have misled you in any way. I don't really want to see any more direct messages on my Discord of people calling me fake. So that's not what I'm trying to be. But hey, it is what it is. Everybody has their opinions and I appreciate yours. If you want to tell me about myself, you can hit me up on my Discord. I won't lie, I rarely read uh, YouTube comment sections because of my Destiny 2 days. So yeah, if you want to hit me up, hit me up and I will chat you. I reply to absolutely everybody via Discord. Like I said, link down below. Even if you want to throw shade my way, that's completely fine. I'm pretty sure I can change your opinion on me. But there we have it, guys. Rant video over. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, add a ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.